Our cantata this year is called Appalachian Winter. And for those of you who have heard cantatas but aren't quite sure what those are, it's a group of songs and readings that tell a complete story. Um, this is the Christmas story. Because it's a whole story, I would ask that you hold your applause until the very end. And then if you feel moved, we're more than happy to <laughs> accept it. So just to start things off. Above the whistle of the winter wind, the first notes of a distant Gloria arrives. Soft at first, it comes like a dream. And then in a great crescendo, it sweeps across our emptiness and fills our heart with a symphony of angel wings. The mountains and the canyons echo like cathedrals, declaring the news. Jesus the Savior is born. Glory to God in the highest.
This is a season for music and singing. How right it is to raise our voices in worship and praise, for it was into the silence that God spoke to us His word of life. How fitting that in winter's deepening darkness, we light a candle and gaze upon its golden grace, for it was into the shadows that God sent His Son. How beautiful it is when we gather as one community of faith to share the timeless story that transformed the world with light. Yes, it's only right that we sing and be joyful, for this is the season of wonders and a time for remembering we are people of hope, peace, love, and joy. This is a season for hope and expectation. Joined to each other by the cords of our common need, we quiet our hearts and listen for the coming of the Lord. In the stillness, we prepare our lives to receive the music of promise that can only come from the heart of God. Let us pray. O oh Lord our God, you are a beautiful flower blooming in winter's desolation. You are the song that breaks through the silence of the evening shadows. You are the everlasting joy that comes with the dawn. O oh Lord, remember your people of the covenant. Hear our cries for forgiveness and mercy. Send to us your Son and change the world with grace. Oh, 
This is a season of peace and assurance. Let the Spirit of God, like a gentle wind, move through your hearts and strengthen your faith. Let it search you and fill you with new life and fresh meaning. Live expectantly for the coming of the sun. God is working his purpose out, and soon a new day will dawn and fill the earth with light. For it is written, Behold, the day is coming when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and in that time, I will, I will cause a righteous branch to spring forth from David, and he shall bring justice and righteousness to the land. This is a season for listening and learning. Let the word of God dwell richly in you. May it encourage and strengthen you as you wait for the coming kingdom. Through the prophets Isaiah and Jeremiah, the promises of God have been made known. The Bible reminds us to find comfort in these prophecies, declaring for things written in ancient times are given for our instruction, that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. The prophets declare that in Bethlehem, a virgin would give birth. This miracle would be sacred evidence that the promise made to David would be fulfilled. This holy child will establish a kingdom that will last forever. His name will be called 
wonderful counselor, mighty God, eternal Father, and the Prince of Peace. This is a season for promises and fulfillment. All that had been spoken through the prophets came true in the most miraculous and wonderful way. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn.
This is a season for thanksgiving and praise. It's a time to hold tightly to our dream for peace on earth. With hearts of hope, let us pray for the day when the noise of violence will at last melt into the voice of praise. As we recount the amazing events surrounding the birth of Christ, we are filled with gratitude. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace and goodwill to all. This is a season for seeking and worship. As we gaze into the wintry night sky, we are filled with a sense of wonder and awe. Who are we that God should love us? Who are we that God should send His Son Jesus to restore and redeem our broken lives? As we search the Scriptures, 
we discover that we are not alone with these thoughts. Sages from the East also searched the night skies for answers. These wise philosophers had studied ancient philosophies, and when they discovered a new and brilliant star, they pondered its significance. In the Gospel of Matthew, we read this account. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we have observed his star in the east and have come to pay him homage.
This is a season of sharing and celebration. Christ is born. God has sent a Redeemer into our world and has set our Alleluia's free. For it is written, O Zion, that bring us good tidings, get thee up into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bring us good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Arise and shine, children of light. Declare the good news of the Savior's love. Shine your lamps from the highest mountain and tell the world that Christ the Lord is born. Glory to God in the highest. Christ the Lord is born. Thank you. 